In part b, we're supposed to sketch this f of g of x, and we're supposed to do it between 0 and 2.25. I think maybe it helps to go back here and find our original function here. Maybe let's, let's go get that one so that we can use it, okay? So we need to know this. This is the function we need. So let's maybe write it down here. All right, so I'll put it again. So we have f of g of x equals that thing. All right. That maybe helps just so we can sort of keep track of what's going on here. Maybe I'll delete that part there. There we go. So this is the function I want to graph, and they want us to sketch this. I want to point out something very important that a lot of people forget. Look carefully at this domain. Remember, domain means the range of x values. They only want it from 0 to 2.25. That means you are not allowed to give any values past that. If you do that, you will not get full marks. So if you look carefully at the scale that they gave you here, they tell you you're allowed to go all the way up to, this is 2.5, so that means this right here must be 2.25 right here. This one right here, 2.25. This is as far as you should go. Just sort of remember that for yourself, okay? So as we go along, we can't go any further past that, and we can't go anything past uh, to the left of zero here. We've got to stay between here and here. Well, maybe let's do this graph on a calculator. Since it's paper two, after all. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get out my calculator here, press the home button, I want a new document, and I want a new graph. What function do I want? I'll put in my trusty function here. I want x to the power of four. Uh, what do I want then? Minus four x squared plus three. And, oops, it up in here plus three. Uh, all right. Now, I don't want this thing everywhere, though. I only want to see this in this window. So what kind of helps, you can actually set the window. You can go to Menu and do View. And then you can actually do, uh, hold on a second here. Oops, no graph. There it is. Window and zoom, that's it. So under window and zoom, you can actually just do window settings here, and you can actually set it manually. I mean, if they tell you to go from what to what, then maybe you do the same exact thing. So x values, maybe I'll go from like minus one, just so I can see a little bit here, and my x max should be maybe three, just so I can have an idea here. I like my scale here, their scale is every four of them, so my scale should be every 0.25. So that means there's four of these tick marks for every one. And my y minimum, maybe I'll make it uh, minus 2. Like I'll just go a little bit further down. I need to go my y max, maybe I'll make it 10. And then my scale will be 1. And let's see what that looks like. So this hopefully now looks a little bit nicer. Um, and it looks a little bit more similar to what I need it to look like here. So if I look at this, what's a nice easy trick is, I mean, you can set a few things first of all. You can take this graph and you can ask it some things. For example, we can ask uh, the graph to do what's called a trace. We can do graph trace. What I like here is you can actually set the value of x you want. Instead of actually scanning along, I just type in 0. And watch, if you put in 0, it tells you, oh, look, the y value is 3. So what do I do with that? That tells me that at x equals 0, I know now that my y value is 3. So see, I put a value there. Then maybe I want it at uh, 0.5. So do you see how easy this is? You just trace along and say, maybe at 0.5, I want to know what's going on. At 0.5, it's 2.06. So let's see, at 0.5, it's a little bit higher than 2. So all right, I guess there. If you just go like this, you can be really methodical and get everything you need. At x equals 1, let's just say what happens. At x equals 1, it's 0. Hey, that's nice to know. Uh, maybe at 1.5, let's see what happens there. At 1.5, what's going on? It's at negative 0.938. It means that 1.5 here, whoops, I probably should have drawn uh, more on the axes here, shouldn't I? I needed to have a negative 1 and a negative 2 here. So negative, uh, what was it again? 0.938. So over here at minus, uh, at 1.5, there's was minus 0.938. So right around, I don't know, right around there. And if I keep going to maybe at uh, 2, what do I get? I get x equals 3. So now I know somehow at 2 here, it goes way up to 3. That's good to know. So it's way up to here. Maybe it helps to know sort of what happened in the middle here. Maybe I can sort of zoom in and find out, hey, hey, what's, what's going on over here? Um, maybe you can go to like, I don't know, this value down here. But otherwise, we know it kind of goes like this.
You know, it kind of did something like this. Uh, maybe we can find out at 1.75 what happens. Maybe that we need to know. If we want to 1.75, oh, it's at 0.129, which means it's at just above there. So it's crossed there. And let's do it at exactly 2.25. Do not go past that. See, there they're being sneaky. Because you could, of course, go past. Your graph exists forever. See, your graph doesn't stop. But you need to stop yours. So at 2.25, it's at 8.38. So you want to be at, uh, let's see, at 2.25 here needs to be at 8.38. So somewhere like that. And what they're looking for you to do then is to put these together somehow. So, for example, you could draw some graph. It doesn't have to be exact, but something like... Something like this, you know, something like that. This would be good enough. So they're looking for places like they're looking for this over here. They're looking for the top here, not going past this. I mean, it's not an asymptote. I shouldn't have drawn the dotted line. It's not an asymptote. The function is defined, but here they just told you to stop there. So that's the important thing here. But do you see how nice it is with your calculator? If you do a trace, for example, um, if you're on a TI-84, just do value, it's called. So you calculate, do value, and you just type in what you want. I like that better than just sort of scanning along like this. Because do you notice here, when you just go left and right, you're sort of stuck to their own random units here. What I really like is if you put in 1, just type in 1, enter, it tells you exactly what it is at 1, and at 2, and at 3, and whatever. So see, you can see at 3, it's at 48. That's fine. We didn't need to know that because we stopped our graph at 2.25. So I hope that helps.